So, you know, I've, I've taken it just because people have always done it, that the rocker blades need to be quarter saw. But why? And what would be the advantage of that? And what would be the disadvantage? And is there an advantage to having a flat sawn rocker or a disadvantage? <laughs> Are you going to answer these questions or me? I got, I got, no. <laughs> I've got, I'm a, throwing them out to you. Okay. You're throwing them out to me. So I made this a quarter sawn rocker blade initially because I thought I was going to leave this unpainted. Um, and so I know somebody that, uh, has a bunch of quarter sawn rocker that was, or quarter sawn boards that were rejects from a veneer mill. It's the last right. bit they can't cut. So I was free. I went and got it. There is, I was just, just reading this book that a friend of mine, Herb, uh, he actually might be watching here, sent me. Um, and it's about wood and the history of wood and all this stuff. But the guy is a wood scientist. And we've always known that, you know, the wood splits easier in the ray plane than it does in the tangential plane. And so this is a plane of weakness. But I never really thought about the rays as fibers that are running from the pith to the bark and are creating strength in that plane. Um, so he's actually saying that this is less likely to crack, uh, you know, where this is short grain where we've sawn this curve out. It'd be less likely to crack because there are fibers running this way, the rays. Kind of like some interlocking wood fiber or something. Yeah, or plywood sheets, <laughs> you yeah. know? Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Um, so I don't know, you you know, I don't know how how much of an effect that has, if any, but that's what the book was saying. Uh, right. So you've just kind of, you've just pointed out two reasons for having quarter sawn. One would be aesthetics. Yeah. If that's what you're wanting, if you're not, not painting it, but also painting it, especially with the red oak, but with the white oak too, those, uh, uh, the, the open grain of the growth rings show through the paint. Right. And, and, and make it, make it a much more interesting surface than that flat sawn surface. So it would be aesthetics with either painting it or not painting it. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, so as far as beyond aesthetics, you're saying that there could be this strength issue. Well, I'm glad I asked that because I never could get past the aesthetics, you know, you're, uh, as far as an advantage goes, you're thinking about, well, let's think about the joint inside there and the movement of the joint. Uh, you know, well, the movement along that radial plane or along the width of that rocker would be insignificant yeah. in relationship to the chair. That's not going to make a hill of beans difference in anything. The movement thickness wise side to side is is not really a big deal because it's only a half inch thick and yeah. the difference between the movement in quarter sawn and plain sawn would be pretty small and that would be keeping that joint intact uh you know if the through through expansion and shrinkage through through humidity change uh if it was thicker than the way that you've got it right there you're, re, you're you've got more movement in that tangential plane. Right. Yeah. You got, more, you got more movement that way. So it, it could be, you know, a factor, but with a half inch, I don't think it's a big deal. No, but the other okay. direction is where it's going to want to work itself apart where this leg is not moving at all this way, but the rocker's moving this way. Well, that's a good, that, that, that's actually is a, is a better point. Uh, and with the quarter sawn, it's not moving as much. You're moving, it's moving half with white oak, I yes. think. Yes. I think it's about half. And, uh, and so, uh, uh, okay. I mean, I've just always, it's just kind of been accepted that you want these things quarter sawn. And, and, and a lot of times we just take stuff like that, that we've heard for years or that, our good chair maker friend told us and you don't question it. Right. So now I've questioned it and maybe we have a few answers and maybe there might be more, but so that said, 
There you go. I, I have never, I never heard that they needed to be quarters on until we started this class. Uh, and I read your plans and it said quarter on on there. Uh, <laughs> and so up until this yeah. point, I've made almost exclusively flats on rockers to no issues at all that I've ever encountered. Uh, so clearly, you know, at least for the first 15 years of the chair, you can get by with flats on, I guess.